What's up guys, it's Iron Link here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and we are staring into the Tornado of Death. So, good stuff going on. Uh, if I sound a little abnormal for my voice, it, I just caught a cold and I thought I uploaded a video. I, I don't know, when was it? Monday night? Even though I said it was going to be Tuesday or something around there. Um... What is it, Friday? I guess you could... Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh, no, I'm recording this like a day later after I uploaded, so... I'm thinking... Uh, Sunday on my... Up next Sunday on my upload this, so... We'll see. So I'm just chopping down the grass here, because I get paid to chop down grass. So, if you remember from last episode, we... Um... What did... We put pearls onto the statues, and I did pretty terrible, because I was complaining about people on a raft. That actually is very, very helpful. Those people right there, right there. See the, in the far, if you can't see them, um, let me pull out my telescope right there. Right there, see those guys? I said they suck. Well, they actually don't. What really sucks is that thing right there. It's terrible, but we will be able to take care of that very soon and we'll be able to take advantage of it very quickly my cat is on the other side of the door and it's really loud and annoying so let's continue and put the pearl on to here wondering uh, I can't I can't speak or anything today um, I will be talking a little bit louder it's just that my voice is really like swelled right up and I took some pills for it so Good stuff. If my throat, if my throat, if my throat starts to go out anymore, I will stop, and I will maybe continue this, uh, like part one into. I'll maybe put this as part three because we are coming in onto something great. So this is Din's Pearl. That's the only thing I can read for now. So I'll let you watch this. This tower, which of the, uh, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of ancient world, of the ancient world, prepared so that they m might test our courage of men. Who says you're a man? You're a redneck. You're a redneck boat that talks. So I won't consider you yourself a man. It's not men. It's just man. Only one who is able to c overcome the trials of the, that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. But we already are a true hero. Look at our clothes, you know? We're green. Only then 
that uh, only then will the hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Well, that's pretty short. Iron, that which you must ab uh, iron, that which you must attain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must arise above the trial of the gods. So we are going against the girls that blew up and made this thing appear. That's great in a sick way. So, as you can see in the cutscene, Link is small compared to this thing. Like, they really did well showing that this thing is pretty huge and we're going to have fun. So, welcome to the Tower of the Gods, our fourth dungeon. And the way the redneck here kind of interpret this whole place, it was kind of like this thing is our last battle and then we... Or our second last battle, and then we get our sword, and then, spoiler alert, um, then we, uh, kinda go against Ganon, kill him, and then we sing hurrah, and then, you know, the Zelda timeline comes into place, and people are going, oh, you know, this flooded planet doesn't actually happen for a certain amount of time it actually drains all away from some certain plug in the world and it's like come on let's be reasonable here there's no such thing so we want to get out our boomer here and just just for the heck of it let him explode and we get a green true chili Bobby. so um i don't think there is anything important in here oh, i guess there is a key in here and a new new enemy, I, I think it's called, not a stall boss, but, um, what is it called? Uh, it starts with a B. I don't know if it's a blop or a blop. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying. It's like a Poe in Ocarina of Time, but it's a head in this time period. So, you can see down there that there are torches, but the water rises. So you have to time this quite quickly and great into your own expertise. So you're going to have to wait until the water uh, kind of dies down. And then you quickly light your stick and you run like heck down there. Um, avoiding the electric chew jelly. And then you get that and a chest appears. Um... So our second chest of the dungeon already. Um, two jellies, uh, they are effective in water. They just don't actually true the true form. They kind of sink right into themselves. So, and they can electrocute. Um, I don't think there's one point in time where you can throw your boomerang and it won't stop. Like, it won't get all dizzy and all that when you throw it, at usually, when they're in full form. So, um, I, never mind. It actually helps us out. So, we go right on over here, we say, hey, Redneck can jump on on here. So, um, yeah, how have you guys been? Um, last episode I <laughs> actually recorded, like, two weeks ago. And I just uploaded the first part uh, last week, and then I uploaded the second one this time, so... I don't know. It's kind of boring for me just to record two videos at the same time and then not have anything to do. Like, I like to do live. Like, on the day that I upload, I usually record ahead of time. Well, not ahead of time. I record, like, minutes before I upload it, so it's really fresh when I talk about the events. Oh, speaking of events, um, I, yeah, shame on me for saying this, but I am, yeah, 
bullets, so if you throw it while they're in water, they still execute them. You pause them for a couple seconds. And you, you fall in behind here is mandatory, so you want to kill him because he causes havoc a lot. So you want to kind of pull these over here, I think. Um, I don't think there's anything important in here except for right here. So let's just blow this up right here. Over here, pull out our shield. And cause that to happen. You grab this and you sing hallelujah. So, um, yeah, events. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, job. I am saving up for a Wii U. Yes, I do not have a Wii U yet. I did not see the purpose on getting one because there was no game I really wanted. Um, yes, of course, there is Mario U. The new Super Mario Bros. Wii U, and then, um, there's, like, Batman and all that, but I don't really like the Batman. I, there is, um, Assassin's Creed, but I don't, I didn't really see the purpose in Assassin's Creed until I started to play the first one on the PlayStation, I thought, hey, I don't want to just, uh, play the second and, well, the second and then Brotherhood and then Revelations on the PlayStation and also go to the Wii U to play the third, so I think I am going to maybe keep on playing the Assassin's Creed trilogy, or it's not really a trilogy yet, there's only five games, so the Assassin's Creed uh, story, I guess you could say it that way, um, just on two different systems because it seems pretty tedious to do that so that's what's kicking um as I was saying I'm saving up for a Wii U because there is a purpose for me to get one now and um I am searching into trying to record videos off the Wii U so that'll be fun Sorry for the rude interruption. Uh, kind of got interrupted, of course, by someone. So, my cat, to be more precise. And you can hear her in the background. Shame on her. Shut up. This is how I talk to my cat. She's like, meow, shut up, meow, shut up. Which is not a healthy conversation. If you're just wondering. So, you want to jump on down here. I don't think, oh, you're stuck down here because there is a ladder right there. A golden ladder shows this place means business. So, you want to try to pick this up, put it down here, and then we get a double rainbow. No, it's not double rainbow, it's just a rainbow bridge. No pun intended for. Uh, Mario 64. Or was it Mario 64 that had the Rainbow Bridge? I can't remember. I haven't played that game in a long time. But yeah, um, I'm, I am trying to figure out how to record videos on the Wii U. Um, just because it has the wireless controller. I don't know if you can, you, it's mandatory for this game. Um, there might be new mechanics, I don't know. It's coming out this fall. It is a Legend of Zelda HD remake. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So if I'm I am if I am still doing this game, which I highly doubt it, um, by fall and it comes out, um, you might be able to see the last little bit of Zelda on the Wii U in HD remake. But, of course, I would have to play it non-stop until I get to where we are. So, and I would have to, like, do 100% on it. That means I would have to do everything. Um, it took me, it takes me a good week to be able to beat this game 100%. Um, if I, like, really grinded on this game, I could probably beat it in two days. No joke. 
if I just played it probably, I don't know, 14 hours a day, I'll probably get it finished by like a day and a half, like two days and a half. Uh, yeah, it's crazy stuff going on. With that, I just don't do that. Don't. Anyways, um, what else am I going to talk about? Uh, Super Bowl. Um, I don't think the 49, 49ers won. I can't remember. Um, it's not the most mandatory thing on my list right now. Or to watch, even though Super Bowl is the biggest like sports thing going on. Um, I only watched the Super Bowl for the halftime, and I didn't really want to watch Beyonce this time. I will end up watching it on YouTube, the Beyonce halftime. But for now, I don't really want to watch her. So this is uh, more like a cat and mouse kind of situation here. Um, you just kind of want to test how far you can jump. Um, if you're able to do it perfectly like that, but you know you're able to get on there, it's just you gotta align them all. And if you're able to jump all the way across, hands off to you. Hands off to you. That means I'm gonna cut off my hand and give it to you. You better appreciate what I'm giving to you. So just test that you can make it all the way across and then. Um, maybe all the way back. I'm just pushing this up to the one right up above us because I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually don't climb, grab, scoot across, do that, and let's see how that works. Now, the mechanic of this room, um, you just saw half of it. Now you have to get one of these um, I would wait until the water goes back down and up again so you have fresh time. I think it lasts for about 30 seconds, 30, 20 seconds. It's not a lot of time, but it's quite a bit at the same time. And, yeah. Um, what else? I talked about Wii U. Um, oh, did you see the Zelda, um, Nintendo Direct for all you Nintendo fans? I'm pretty heavy on it, and man, when they said that uh, Zelda Wind Waker HD would be coming out, I was pumped. I was like, yes, finally to spend money on something useless, but it's not really useless, it's just a hobby, so uh, perfect timing, the water, the water comes up. Um, those two jellies will come down and screw you like a bugger. So you want to move as far away as you can, unlike me, to just move right on top of them. And, man, my voice sounds terrible. Man, I don't know why I'm recording. Oh, well. Uh, man, I just, I'm terrible. I was like, oh, well, who cares? Um, what did I get in that room? I can't remember. Short term memory loss. Hey, say hey. Hey, smoke. Everybody say hey. Yeah. They like you. Look at them. They hate you. What was that? He like snorted at me. Anyways, good comments to the cat. Um, oh yeah. On the description below on my last video. Um, hey. Um, my last video I said that I'll be announcing a new, um, video series like a new game video series to my channel but I won't do it until I get an answer from you guys um, the reason is because it will be re um, taking over five facts um, the reason is because I've been working so hard on to trying to get um, what was it the Zelda, like, 2010 facts, 2010, uh, the 20 or 10 facts, but because I get electrocuted, it doesn't work for me, but, um, anyways, because 
um, it's taking me so long to get all the facts. I just want to have something to back up the five facts for now. So, I am thinking of making a new video series. Once I get used to that and I get the five facts up and going, I will keep on doing Zelda, Ratchet, and Clank, and five facts in the new video series if you guys want that. Um, it's going to be pretty busy. Um, I probably will only upload like two videos a day or a week. Two videos a day, yeah. I'm a busy man. Um, two videos a week. So I'll be doing like one week, I'll be doing Zelda, Ratchet, Clank, and then the other week I'll be doing, um, I'll be doing five facts and a video, new video series. So it's up to you guys. If you guys want a new video series, here are your three choices. I, and this, First one is a tr going to be a tribute to the new uh, Star Wars Episode 7. It's going to be Lego Star Wars, and it's going to be like the first Lego Star Wars that came out on the GameCube. So it'll be like the, f the very, the very first. Well, not the very first, but the first in uh, 2001 uh, Star Wars movie. And then the second one and the third, the terrible, terrible one, third one. So, it's not the original ones, it's the newer original ones. So, I can either do that, um, or um, I could be re doing another Star Wars tribute. But, it's going to be on, instead of another Nintendo uh name, like game name, it will be for the first uh, generation Xbox, so the, the OG Xbox, so that's a second one, um, it, it is more, a more aggressive Star Wars that I have, now the third, it's up to you guys, now I am regretting on doing this one. It's going to be maybe Minecraft, or it's going to be a Wii title. Um, yes, yeah, smoke. It's a Wii title. I forget what the name of it was. Crap. Let me check. It's on my wall here. Um. Um. Crap. I forgot what it was. There's a couple that I see now that I might actually want to do now. Scary. So I can either do uh, Mario, the M Super Mario Bros. Wii. No, I can do that one, or I can do. Uh, I want to switch it up. Mario Galaxy, the first Mario Galaxy. Um, if I do Mario Galaxy, I'll be doing the second one too on on that. Uh, line there. Um, so I'll put on the screen uh, what titles I just said if you couldn't really catch on to what I was saying. So um, I have, uh, trying to remember now, I have uh, Lego Star Wars, uh, Star Wars the old, not old Republic, uh, Republic Commando. That's for the Xbox. The first one was for the GameCube. Uh, the, s the third one is going to be maybe... Or the third one's going to be uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then the fourth will be Mario Galaxy. So, those are your choices. Now, if you want to know what, how to choose, um, I'll be doing, like, whoever gets the most most uh, comments for so if you comment for like five of you comment for like let's say uh, Mario Bros Wii well then I and then I get like ten vote uh, ten people saying do Lego Star Wars well then Lego Star Wars has the most votes so that's what I'll be doing so, first fail of the dungeon. Um, how far am I into this video? I'm probably going on to 20 minutes now. 
uh, yeah, I am. So, I think I'm going to stop the video here. So, in the next episode, I will be continuing. Uh, we got through like a good quarter of the dungeon now, actually. So, in the next episode, I will be seeing you guys then. Oh, and I guess I'll, I'll make a separate video for you guys on on the how to vote for the game. So, and actually, I'll upload it before this one. So, you'll be hearing me rant on about this before. So, until then, see you guys later.